welcome to another video um i decided to uh do oh i want this to be a quick video i don't know if it will be a quick video there's quite a few things that i haven't done for the last few weeks and i do feel like because it's may um time is running out um but again i've also feel like i've been overwhelmed a lot with a few things going on at home i'm gonna go ahead and use some fish blood and bone um fertilizer to fertilize my um my raised garden bed um and then after that i'm going to plant a few things that i haven't managed to plant over the last few weeks i've managed to grow a few bits on my windowsill like cucumber uh, a few sunflowers um, that are starting to pop out and um, i've got some strawberries which i posted on shorts a few weeks ago and i also have this sweet pepper which is doing really well but i think I it's probably time to take it out of here because um yeah i'm just a bit worried it's starting to droop and i don't think i don't want to leave it in in, in this little container for too long this bone meal and i'm gonna mix in i'm gonna mix it in with the the soil because um this year i haven't what i normally would do is add some more compost into this bed but I've got so much in this bed um, that I think all I really need to do is make the soil a little bit richer. I've never done this before. I will use bone meal in my smaller um, beds, but yeah, I just had a think. I had a thought about it over the weekend, um, and I did go and buy a load of compost because only because it was on special. Um, but then I thought, well, instead of I don't need to. There's loads of compost in here. I don't need to waste, and then yeah i can just do this make the soil a bit richer and hopefully all the stuff oh i don't know if you all the stuff i plant in here will be um good quality this year hopefully i'm kind of hoping it's not going to rain either these online and usually when I buy um, seeds it tells you how to space them at the back and I forgot that the brand that I buy online on eBay doesn't actually say um, so to avoid having to go back on the computer and trying to check what it says from my last purchase I think the easiest thing to do for me is just to pop them in here and then label them um, so I have yeah courgette seeds are quite usually quite big so I think there's more control if I do them this way. I can control them more, although it's going to be a matter of transplanting them later. It's not the end of the world. That's what they look like. Oh. So, and especially for the things like tomato seeds, I'm, I'm quite particular as to how I want them to look like when they go into the bed. So maybe if I do it this way, it's more controlled and organized. Um, and when the excuse me, when the plant comes out, I can space it the way I want to space it in my bed in my vegetable bed because I don't want my bed to look untidy and horrible. I'm just weird like that. I, I want to look out into my garden and I want things to be in order. Um, so, I mean, I have fertilized the soil. I'm going to just back up so you can see. Try not to sit on my sweet potato plant. I mean, sweet potato, my sweet peppers plant. But I'm going to back again. Back again with the better soil. <laughs> I can't afford for anything to go wrong just because um, we are now we are now in mid-May. Mid-May? No, what's the day today? No, I lie. It's the 5th of May. So I, I, I can't have anything going wrong because the season's upon us now. So there is that pressure to make sure that everything comes out as it should. It doesn't always happen that way, but 
and try. So, just gonna add that there. That way it's more controlled. And we're gonna add our courgette seeds. How many do we have? I need to take these off. Um, Right. Oops. Oh, I've just lost one. <gasps> oh. No. I've lost the seed. I'm just going to pop it in there like this. I really hope you can see. Oh, look. That one that I thought was missing has gone right in there. So I've got. I'm going to try and put two in one in case one doesn't come out there's always that tray that doesn't produce as much right and then i'm gonna go ahead and cover it and label it now so i don't forget what i've done and then we shall move on to the next one after this video i'm sorry i had to cut some things short um but i'm gonna place these nicely on the side of my bed garden here and then hope that the birds don't get to them sometimes the birds like to steal the seeds from them so i'm really gonna hope i hope that they don't do that um and hopefully i can update you you guys and i'm, I'm fingers crossed at the end of the month i can plant this the, the the seedlings into this bed um beginning of june i'm optimistic with the weather getting quite warm i think everything's gonna is gonna is going to grow really really quickly um but i'll see you guys in the next video